Welcome to this course, S101, Modeling Structural Frames. This course includes a workbook that contains exercises for getting started with Bentley's BIM solution, Open Buildings Designer. You will create a new project work set, set up a grid system for the project, and model key structural elements, including steel and concrete columns and beams, to create the framing for a small three-story commercial building, as seen here. I have started Open Buildings Designer. I am on the work page. Before we can start or create a new file, we need to select the proper workspace and work set. Every file created should belong to a work set. Work sets are basically a set of files and folders that all belong to the same project. Creating a new work set creates a set of folders that contain and define the files and standards for that project. Every work set will belong to a workspace that defines common standards for all the projects in that workspace. In a small organization, there may be a single workspace for all projects or work sets. In larger organizations, the workspace may define the standards of a particular building type or client. For the purpose of this quick start for structural designers training, you will use the delivered example workspace, building examples, and create a new work set for the training project. So in order to do that, I will select the pull-down under Work Set and select Create Work Set. That opens the Create Work Set dialog. Here I will give the new work set a name and a description. And then I should select a template for the work set. Note that each regional dataset includes a work set template for your projects. But we're going to use one of the training templates. I am selecting the training template US, which means I will work in US units, feet and inches. If you prefer to work in metric units, then select the training template NM. Now that the work set is created, we will create our first model file. Select the new file icon. Note that the default location is the designs folder in the new work set folder that was created. In the dialog, create a file name. This file will be called S Framing. Note that Open Buildings Designer uses a federated building model, meaning that we will create several model files for the structure of the building and reference those models together to create the completed model. We will start with the framing and later create a separate model for the foundations. Select Save to create the new file. So we'll take a quick look at the interface. On the upper left is the workflow. The default will be building design, and that is where the structural modeling is done. Note that there is also building systems design for mechanical and electrical design, and also basic modeling, drawing, and visualization workflows. Each workflow has different tabs on the ribbon. In building design, there is an architectural tab as well as a structural tab. This is where you'll find all the basic modeling tools in addition, there are a number of other tabs, including tabs for drawing and drawing production. Let's set it to the Structural tab. Just below the ribbon is the Family and Part Picker. So whenever we place elements in the model, we want to make sure they have the correct family and part assigned. So for instance, if we wanted to place a concrete column, we would set the family to concrete and the part to column. This controls the symbology of the element in the model, as well as the drawing. So for instance, the level, color, line style, and line weight are set by the part selected. Generally, you will find that the family and part is selected automatically by the tool selected. Next, I'm going to open the Explorer dialog. The Explorer dialog is used to explore items within this file, as well as items and files that are part of your work set or project. The Sheet Index tab allows you to set up a folder structure for storing and numbering your sheet files. An example has been set up in the training work set for the structural drawings under the Structure folder. The Links tab is used to navigate to other files within your work set. So for instance, if I expand Building Models and then Design Models, I will see a list of the current design models in my work set, including the one I just created. 
If I expand supplemental models, you can see that there are a number of completed models of this building, which we will be using for the coordination of our structural model. Next, I'm going to open the Attributes toolbox. Once opened, this tool can be docked just below the ribbon. Just select the header and drag it into position. The Attributes toolbar shows the active level, color, line style, and line weight. So if I were to change the active family and part, the attributes would immediately be adjusted to match the selected family and part. If we move down to the bottom of the interface, there are some additional tools we will be using. The floor selector is used to select the active floor, which basically determines the ACS plane for modeling. So, for instance, I can select a reference plane for the top of steel when I am modeling the steel beams of a particular floor. Next to that is the Grid Systems Manager. We will use this in the next session to set up the structural grid for this project. Both these tools help to keep the models aligned in 3D space. To the far right are the view tools. You may have up to eight views of your model open. We currently have three, but additional views can be opened or closed as needed. Now let's take a look at the backstage. The file tab will open the backstage. Here are tools to create new files, open existing files, save files, and gain access to other settings and utilities. On the right is a list of recently used files. If you right click on the file path, there is an option to open the folder in File Explorer. This is a quick way to find the workset folder in File Explorer. Note here the subfolders that were created in this workset. The Designs folder for the 3D design models, a Drawings folder for storing 2D drawings, and a Sheets folder for storing sheets for plot. OK, let's go back to the main interface. Finally, I just want to explain the federated building model. We have started by creating the S-Framing model, which is one of the working models. We will also create an S-Foundation model in another session. Those two files will be referenced together in a structural master file. There will also be an architectural master, a mechanical master, and an electrical master model for this project. All of those could ultimately be referenced together to create the complete building model. And it is those master models that will be used when we start to create drawings and schedules. In the next session, we will take a look at the Grid Systems Manager and set up the structural grid for the building. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.